Moon in Capricorn. The moon doesn't get a good reputation in Capricorn, but it's a bit undeserved, actually. The moon's about your feelings and emotions, your sensitivities, your habit patterns, your day-to-day -day life and routines. It's the way you feel. It's the way you emote. It's the way you are sensitive to both other people's emanations and environment around you at any given moment. Because Capricorn is so concerned with words like structure and order and shape and form and to a lesser extent the, the patterns of its, of its main planet, Saturn, the element of discipline, the moon can sometimes feel uncomfortable in Capricorn because the moon just wants to go with the flow, to ebb and flow, to feel, to sense, to intuit, whereas Capricorn does insist to a certain degree on boundaries. It's often said about people with the moon in Capricorn that they're not very good at being outgoing or, or demonstrative at the emotional level. And there is an element of truth to this. It's not that they're shy or inhibited. It's just that Capricorn's fairly at times rigid structure can act as a, an imposition or a hindrance to emotional expression. These are the people who won't tell you how they really feel about you until they've known you a long time and until they've established clear boundaries around privacy. At the same time, people with the moon in Capricorn are going to be much more dependable, loyal, structured, disciplined, trustworthy. The idea of loyalty, particularly family loyalty, can sometimes be so strong that they do get caught up in family tradition. So you'll either find them, depending on the aspects to their moon, as the ones who really rebel and become the black stroke brown sheep of the family, or the ones who maintain the honour of the family over uh, as carried on through generations. It's, it's very um, linear, the moon in Capricorn. It's not a bad position. Traditionally, the moon is in detriment in Capricorn. It's, it's opposite its ruling sign of Cancer. So yes, it's not the easiest position, but there are worse positions for the moon than Capricorn, I assure you. At least Capricorn gives you a degree of emotional structure, even if it's not the most expressive. The reason I'm doing moon in Capricorn is because within the last hour or so, uh, the moon has moved into Capricorn in the last few minutes actually and over the coming two and a half days we're going to see a lot more in the news and in our own individual feelings around words like loyalty duty emotional responsibility emotional structure the fact that the moon is actually whilst in capricorn going to be passing over pluto in about 14 to 16 hours time from now, about 3, 4 a.m. Uh, um, tomorrow at UK time on the 17th, does suggest to me that today is going to be a day of shouting. But I don't think this is the real deal yet. The moon in Capricorn will keep things in a state which, which says that, don't worry, we'll act with, um, we'll, we'll act with transparency and discipline because that's what the moon in Capricorn is best at. Transparency and discipline. Okay, sermon over. Catch you tomorrow. Bye.